This video is for the installation of the Intex model 56633 and 56634 9464 liters per hour filter pumps. These are general use and assembly instructions regardless of your pool type. Please review the filtration chart section from the previous menu for daily operation hours after you have installed the pump. If your pool comes with an Intex crystal clean pool water system, please refer to the instructional video that is packaged separately from the pool DVD. Begin the assembling procedure by first removing the plunger valve from one of the threaded strainer connectors. Unscrew it from the union. Set the plunger valve and its step washer aside for the moment. Unscrew the strainer nut from the threaded connector, leaving the flat washer on the connector. Lubricate the threads on the connector with petroleum jelly. From inside the pool liner, insert the connector into one of the pre-cut holes. Note the flat washer goes between the connector and the inside wall. From outside the liner, screw the strainer nut back onto the threaded connector. Tighten the strainer grid and nut onto the threaded connector. Make sure it is as tight as possible using your fingers only. Do not use any tools. With the step washer in place, screw the plunger valve union back onto the threaded connector. Push the plunger valve handle completely down and turn it clockwise to lock it in place. This will prevent any water from flowing out while you are filling the pool. Repeat the steps shown for the second liner pre-cut hole, making sure both valves are closed. Then proceed to filling the pool. Before filling the pool with water, check to make sure the drain plug is tightly closed and that the cap is screwed on snugly on the outside. Spread the pool bottom out evenly. Again, check to make sure the pool is level. Now you are ready to add water. Begin by putting about three centimeters of water in the pool. Check that water spreads evenly across the pool. Then, carefully smooth out the wrinkles in the bottom, taking care to push the sides out as shown. Now resume filling the pool. The water level should be filled to at least three centimeters above the top pool connection. Overfilling the pool can cause accidental spillovers which may cause property damage or personal injury. If this happens, reduce the amount of water in the pool and recheck to see if the pool is level. Locate the filter pump with the connectors facing the plunger valves. Push the end of one of the hoses onto the upper valve and secure it with the attached hose nut and connect the other end to the bottom of the filter housing. Now connect the other hose to the motor housing and the lower valve. Make sure both valves are locked in the closed position. Unscrew the filter housing collar and set it aside. Remove the cover and check to see if the filter cartridge is in place. Replace the cover. Finger tighten the cover and the air release valve on top. Then the sediment valve at the bottom. Also, close the air release valve above the filter pump inlet. When the pool is filled, Water can be let into the pump before it is turned on. To prevent airlock, open the lower plunger valve first and then the upper valve. To open the valves, turn the handles counterclockwise and pull up until they stop. Then turn them clockwise to lock them at the open position. Finally, open the air release valve on the filter tower to allow the trapped air to escape. When water flows out, gently tighten the air release valve with your fingers. It is important to follow these recommendations when operating the filter pump. Never turn on the pump until the pool is completely filled with water. 
Do not operate the pump when there are people in the water. Use only a GFCI type of electrical outlet for safety. Your pump may also have a switch mounted on the motor housing. Begin operation by connecting the pump to an outlet and switching it to the on position. Now check to make sure water is flowing from the upper valve into the pool. If water is not flowing, there may be air trapped at the pump motor. Open the release valve at the motor and let any trapped air out. The hose between the pool and the pump motor may also have trapped air. Shake this hose up and down to force air out through the valve. The filter cartridge will continue to clean effectively for about two weeks. At that time, check to see if it needs to be replaced. You can try cleaning it with a garden hose or replace it with cartridge number 59905 marked B. Please make a selection from the menu to access other instructional videos.